Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Canon R7 and Sony a7 III. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Canon R7 and the Sony a7 III are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 24th of May 2022 and the 27th of February 2018. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Canon R7. For portrait photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony a7 III. For portrait photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Canon R7 and the Sony a7 III. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Canon R7. And here are some sample photos from the Sony a7 III. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Canon R7. I recently purchased the R7 to replace my 77D and I also own an R6. I love the smaller and lighter size of the R7 for when I don't need the low light performance of the R6. The image quality and ergonomics are very nice, and I appreciate the smaller and lighter lenses for my photo excursions. The IBIS, EVF, and fully articulating rear screen are important features for me, and the R7 meets all of my needs well. I've been using this camera for a while now, and I love all the features it has, especially the FV dial setting. There are still more settings to try, but it really is the best quality camera around. Here's what people have to say about the Sony a7 III. I purchased a brand new a7 III camera from Deals All Year, and I am very pleased with my purchase. The camera has worked flawlessly and the price was $200 less than retail. I did not have to pay sales tax since it was shipped out of state, which was a significant saving. The camera came in its original packaging and was in pristine condition, and I have been impressed with its performance. This camera is not reliable for filming anything longer than 30 minutes due to overheating, and the autofocus can be problematic. However, once you get used to the menu system, it can be a great intro to mirrorless videography. Overall, it's a good beginner mirrorless for video. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Canon R7. We will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Sony a7 III. We will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. 